Hello and welcome to another Java tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to be continuing with our last example and we would like to change some of this information. So initially what I will going to do is I will going to be writing a loop that will going to go through each one of my elements and we're going to set them to some kind of a value. It may not be exactly the same at this stage However, we're going to try to achieve a very similar in our next set of parts. So for now, what exactly I will going to be doing is, since they're all consecutive blocks of memory, I can actually be traversing through them using a loop. Next, what I will going to do is, I will going to put these two statements the way they are by copying and pasting them. However, I'm going to then make a little bit of a change, and you can see what change I make, is to replace these with the CTR. And just so that we can have a varying set of values, I'm going to change this into a formula that add CTR to the value of 101. So for the first employee, it will be 101. For the second employee, it will be 102 for the third employee will going to be 103 because I'm adding the value of CTR which is constantly changing to 101 and instead of calling them all Amy I would like to pretty much call it not set yet and then I can easily take care of all these lines and delete them so my code is very generalized at this point. I have a loop that instantiates all objects, I have a loop that sets all objects and I have a loop that pretty much displays all values and I can do the same with the salary here that I can pretty much be calling the emp ctr dot set salary and I, be, I can be giving some kind of a value for salary let's say if they all are at 25,000 so this will going to be fixed I want to have a varying value I can pretty much be doing a formula which could be based on CTR or some kind of a randomly changing number so they all get to get different salaries. So for now this is how the code looks like. If I run it the way it is now you can actually get to see that they all have a different set of IDs however they all have the same name and same values for the salary. So this is where we can generalize the code a little bit more. What I would like to do in our next tutorial is to actually free up the main from all this logic of having to build everything. Rather, I want to modularize this code by creating a module which does the setting business, creating a module that, gets, that does the displaying business, and creating a module that does the instantiation business, and main will only going to be the caller of all of them. Hope to catch you in the next tutorial. Have a good one.